He really knew what he was doing. As soon as Babe got a load of that video, she signed over custody at best. God. And it's a fake. Well, of course it's a fake. My point is, up to this point, she was willing to take on JR head to head. Until he threatened to drag Jamie into this conviction for conspiracy to commit murder. It was enough to scare her. So she protected Jamie? And now JR's got Bess. This is all Adam's fault. He's made JR into a sociopath. Did Babe and, and Crystal move out? Well, for the moment, they're staying with Hayward. And as bad as that is, it gets worse. Oh, Lord, now what? Even though Babe did exactly what they wanted her to and signed the agreement, Adam is still threatening to put Jamie away. It's my fault. Adam is convinced that I know where Colby is. That I'm the one that helped Liza go off and start a new life somewhere. So he threatened to press charges against Jamie unless I tell him where he can find his daughter. Did you do it? Did you help Liza? I think we should keep this hypothetical. Listen, since when are you suddenly keeping secrets from me? I'm not, sweetheart. It's just that... We're not talking about spousal privileges here. Do you really want to have to testify against me? I'm really proud of you. Considering how far Adam is willing to go to get Bess. I mean, Liza was right to be worried. Yeah, well, don't be proud of me. It takes a lot of courage to do what Liza's doing. But Jamie cannot go to prison because of it. I mean, what are we going to do? The last time he was in, he was almost killed. He cannot go back behind bars. He won't. I swear he's not going to spend a day in jail. And how can you be so sure? Because we're going to prove how bogus Adam's evidence is. We're going to find this guy, this witness, no matter what it takes. You know, I could have you arrested for breaking into that safe. Robbery on top of everything else? <laughs> no, no, no. You don't need that. But I know you didn't find what you were looking for because I'm not foolish enough to leave it in that safe. The evidence is well out of the reach of you and your father. So, here's what I suggest. You go tell Daddy next time not to send a boy to do his dirty work. And tell him this. Tick, 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 I'm running out of patience. The evidence goes straight to the police if I don't get the information I want. At which time, Breaking and entering will be like a walk in the park compared to what you and Babe will face. Do you understand me, son? It'll be your worst nightmare. Now get out of my house. Babe said he knew where JR hid best. We just went down there to convince him to tell us. Explain convince. Uh, pay him off. He wanted money for the information. That's a long way from hiring a hitman. Well, you got set up, kiddo, because that's exactly what they made it look like you were doing. The magic of editing. Yeah. And I knew JR was behind it. I just had this feeling. Well, next time, listen to your instincts, because that's what they're there for. Well, it's not going to happen again. Babe. I'm sorry. I'm trying to pull you both out of the fire. I'm going to find this guy. Your father will do it, honey. All right, there's no way we're going to let you go to prison. I will kill Adam Chandler with my own hands before I will let that happen. Uh, good. That, that's good. Okay, you guys find the witness. What are you doing? JR's gone off the deep end. He's too dangerous, especially to babe. Uh, time out. All right, what is the plan? Uh, no kidding. Now is not the time for you to start thinking about doing anything uh -huh. crazy. Don't worry, either of you. I'm not going after JR. I'm not going to be anywhere near him. So what's with the tape recorder? Jamie, come on. The other day on the basketball court, you kept going on and on about doing what you feel you have to do. What exactly is that? And what happened that we don't know about? I swear to you, I'm not going near JR. Find the guy. Get his back against the wall and make him turn on Adam and JR. I don't know anybody better for the job than you. And what will you be doing while I'm tracking this guy down? I told you, don't worry about me. I'm going to be fine. Uh-huh. If a little more specifics would help me not to worry. I'm going to do what I have to to take care of Babe. I really wish you would no, let just me. Stop. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. I have everything I need. Just trust me. What does that mean, Tad? Hey, 
I love you guys. Just take it easy, okay? Well? Our son's a good man. He wants us to trust him. I say it's high time we start. I'm vibrating. This is hardly the time now, is it? You're gonna have to excuse me. I gotta go stop a potential murder. No, Mary, not tonight. Talk about insult to injury. It's me, Adam. And you better open your eyes. This would get your attention. Oh, well, but there are so many other ways. With, the, with, with our history, force is hardly necessary. Come on, get under the covers. Like a toad. Oh, I love it when you take charge. I will do it, Adam. You're not going to shoot me, Brooke. I've killed before. Yes, and you were acquitted, as I recall. <laughs> because I was protecting my child from a horrible man, just like I'm doing now. And you're upset about Jamie. <laughs> Our mother's love. And your love has twisted your son into a monster. My son is a brilliant young man. He's a menace. Even to the people who care about him. You shouldn't be allowed to raise hamsters. Well, obviously, you didn't come here just to wave this gun around in my face and, and, and talk about hamsters. What is it you want, exactly? I want the disc, Adam. The video that you doctored to implicate my son in a murder plot. Give it to me. Now. A small, select library of DVDs we could watch. Winifred could bring in some popcorn. A lot of salt, extra butter. Shut up. Hello? Where are you? Uh, it's not a good time. Hey, it's not a good time. What did I interrupt? A deadline or a manicure? I'm in Adam's bedroom. Yeah, very funny. And I have a gun aimed at his... A, a gun? I'll call you back. I need both hands for this. Can we get to the good part now? You, you gonna plug me? Adam? Got something special for you. Now promise me you're not gonna rip it off until I... Oh, my God. No, oh, just what I need. She's got a gun. I'm going to call the police. No, no, you... She has a gun, no, Adam. No, I have it. I, I can handle this. She might That's... shoot you with this gun, Adam. Hmm. I'm open to suggestions. What the hell's going on in here? This was your big plan. What did you do, sell tickets? You're lucky I didn't call the police and stop waving that thing around. Don't tempt me. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, is it? Is it ridiculous? It's not as ridiculous as my son being stabbed because of you or being framed All because right, of you. That's okay, what's okay, ridiculous. Uh, this is over. Just you know what? Okay. You help me or you leave. Well, Jerry, why don't you do me a favor and take Mary out of here? Go get her some clothes or something? No. No, no I'm not going to leave my dad alone with you. It's okay. It's okay. Just, uh, for once, Ted is right. Yeah. And now, could you please get our deranged ex-wife out of here? Not until I get the disc. Can't you control her? Well, I wouldn't want to try, considering she's the one with a gun. <sighs> well, um... Seems I have no choice. It's all yours. Thank you so much. No, 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 no. You might hurt your hands. You want to do the uh, honors or should I? I don't understand. I'm sure he's got more than one copy. You can shoot up the whole house if it makes you happy. You'll never find them all. You? No, no, wait. No, no. You? This is over. It's over. No, no, no. This is round one. No, I could have you charged with uh, attempted murder. Oh, come on, Adam. You know as well as I do, she wasn't going to shoot you. I feared for my life. 
At least that's what I'll tell the police. Unless you can convince Tad to give me the information that I need. We can easily bump those charges to murder. No problem. No, tonight's not good for me. But uh, you keep that gun, gun loaded because sooner or later I'm going to get my daughter back. Just the way J.R. got his little girl back. She, um, she had come by a little earlier. It's just something that she said. About? Beth. No. Miranda. It was about holding on and letting go. Something she said is she's scratching at the window. I just can't seem to get there from here. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I know the feeling. Look. I think we have ourselves a hitman. <laughs>